Hello guys, welcome to the Innovation Lab. The goal of this video is to answer the question of can we use a constant current DC to DC boost converter like this guy here to efficiently drive our 1800 watt 48 volt e-bike electric motor under load. And if that is the case, how much of a drive are we gonna get if we use an input voltage of 12 volts, 24 volts, or even 36 volts boosted up to the 48 volts that we need to drive our e-bike electric motor. All right, my friends, let's get started. Also, I know that a lot of us are interested in DIY wind energy projects. So at the end of this video, we will know if it is um, an efficient option to try using a permanent magnet DC electric motor uh, for your wind energy projects as a DC generator. All right, the first video we made using this setup was intended to be an introduction to the load simulator concept as a way for us to test the output power rating of our e-bike electric motor by using it to drive a permanent magnet DC electric motor which we are using in this project as our DC generator. However, in this video, we're going to replace this 350 watt DC generator with a 1000 watt DC generator. And this will allow us to apply more load to the e-bike electric motor. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and make all the needed modifications by installing the DC to DC boost converter, the 1000 watt DC generator, and the loads that we're gonna be using for this testing. And after that, we'll be jumping right into the testing. All right, my friends, let's get started.
all right our modifications are complete and uh, let's go ahead and look at what we have here so this here is the uh, 1000 watt dc generator that we just installed that we're going to be using for this testing and over here is our dc to dc boost converter that we're going to be using to step up our drive voltages so as you can see here we have our 12 volt coming in from the lithium phosphate battery pack and we're going to be using it at the input of the dc to dc boost converter and we have it boosted up at the output of the boost converter to 48 volts as you can see here on our digital power monitor and from there we're going to use it to drive our e-bike electric motor as you can see here and we have our load connected directly to the output of the dc generator as you can also see here so the reason why we have the power monitor connected to the output of the boost converter is because for this test we are really interested in finding out how much power that this dc to dc boost converter can deliver to the system when we are driving it with an input voltage of um, only 12 volts. So basically this is not going to be an efficiency measurement because we are not interested in finding out how much power uh, the boost converter is drawing at the input of the converter. We are only interested in finding out what we are delivering to the system for this specific test. All right, my friends, let's get started.
Alright guys, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. And as you have seen in the video, we have shown that it is possible to drive our 48 volt e-bike electric motor using a constant current DC to DC boost converter. As you have seen in the video, we were able to use multiple voltage levels, 12 volts, 24 volts, and 36 volts applied at the input of the constant current DC to DC boost converter that way we were able to boost them up to 48 volts that we use for our testing. For the 12 volt input, we were able to apply a generator load of 180 watts and the boost converter was able to deliver up to 265 watts to drive our e-bike electric motor. For the 24 volt input voltage drive, we were able to apply a generator electrical load of 540 watts and the DC to DC boost converter was able to provide an output of about 700 watts to drive the system. And lastly, for the 36 volt input, we were able to apply a generator load of about 750 watts, while the DC to DC boost converter was able to supply about 930 watts to drive the system. All right, my friends, looking at all the results and measurements that we have seen in this video, I don't think I would recommend that anybody should use a 12 volt input to um, attempt to drive a powerful e-bike electric motor like this. So this e-bike electric motor is rated for 1800 watts at 48 volts. So uh, if you drive the system at 12 volts, you are only going to be able to supply 265 watts to the e-bike electric motor and that will be highly inefficient. So I will not recommend that. Um, going up to 24 volts, we have seen that you can actually be able to deliver up to 700 watts of power to your e-bike electric motor. Now, if you look at your design and you believe that uh, 700 watts will work for you, maybe you're not gonna use the e-bike to drive a lot of load. Maybe that will be, uh, in my opinion, that will be preferable. And um, if you can go up to 36 volts, it gets even better and better. But well, given that this system is rated for 48 volts, I think the best option would be to design your battery pack or your battery system to go up to 48 volts. But if when you don't have that option, then you can try to use the uh, DC to DC boost converter. And lastly, for those of us who may be interested in DIY wind energy projects, I've received a lot of questions about if um, this DC generator can be used as an efficient um, generator for wind energy designs. What we have seen in this video is that um, we can get up to a thousand watts output, um, power output uh, from this uh, generator. So um, that could be something that you can try and experiment on. The only thing I would say is that everything we have done and tested in this video is a kind of a short duration test. So if you're thinking of using this DC generator for wind energy designs, this is something you have to test to see how long it's going to last under stress and under um, prolonged electrical loads. All right, guys, I hope you had some fun watching this video. I hope you got some good information out of it. And if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when we make similar videos in the future. All right, my friends, I'll see you guys in the next video.